What's up guys, my name is Tony and you can follow me down below at Lyman Football. Today we're going to be taking a look at the world's first transition visor, the Shock Friday Night Lights visor, and also reviewing the Zero G Plus platform that they've created. So the two main objectives for today are going to be, number one, talk about the Shock Zero G Plus and how it fits our helmets. And number two is going to be review this specific visor under the Zero G Plus platform, which is the Friday Night Lights version. So to start, we are sponsored by Shock. You've seen them on the front of all of our videos. Now this does complicate the review as you know they do sponsor us on a monthly basis. Having said that, we would not take sponsorship from a company that we did not believe in and trust the product. At this point, I've been working with Shock for over seven years and have a great relationship with the guys over there. They were one of the first people to give me a start and send me anything over to help get my channel going. So I'm very appreciative of them for that. Having said that though, right, they're always in competition with other companies like Nike and Oakley. So if I have any objective issues with their product, I think they'll actually be all years to hear how they can improve it and get it better. And we also don't only talk about Shock on this channel because Oakley is the sponsor of the NFL. We talk about Oakley visors on a weekly basis. But now with all that disclaimer out of the way, let's start talking about the visors. Okay, so the Zero G Plus is Shock's latest visor and it builds off the original Zero G which we have here. Now the Zero G One was the first visor specifically created to fit the Riddell Speedflex. So what's interesting about the Riddell Speedflex is it's actually much narrower of a face mask design than the Riddell Speed, its predecessor, and also any other shut helmet. So when the Speedflex first came out, other companies like Oakley were trying to fit their current visors into these face masks and basically having to squeeze the visor a little bit down to fit inside. The problem with squeezing visors to fit inside a different platform is when you squeeze it down, it's outside of its normal shape, it puts a lot more stress on that plastic. And if you think about all that pressure that plastic's now under, the next time it takes any big impact hit, it's going to break. In fact, that's why Oakley came out with the Oakley Pro Visor. You see, as the on-field sponsor for the NFL, if Oakley was taking their current visors, putting them into all the Riddell Speed Flexes, and if one of them happened to break on the field because of too much stress, it'd look really bad. So in response, Oakley came out with the Oakley Pro Visor, which is specifically made to fit the Riddell Speed Flex and has to be used with Speed Flexes on the field in the NFL games. Anyways, back to the Zero G. So a couple years ago, we dropped a review on this visor right here, the Shock Zero G One. The big things we talked about with this is it is made specifically for the Riddell Speed Flex and is made to have zero gapping all the way around and is made specifically to fit that more narrow shape. I still think this is a fantastic visor, but they've made a couple improvements with the Zero G Plus. Now the biggest change they made from the Zero G Plus and the Zero G is gonna be the size of the whole so on the Zero G, there's just that one hole that the, the threading has to go through there to lock it down to your face mask, and there's not a lot of maneuverability. But on the Zero G Plus, they actually elongated the holes and made them a lot larger, and that way the visor can be moved and shifted around, and that's to make it fit on other helmet platforms. Now the Shock Zero G Plus, although it's specifically made for the Speedflex, can also fit on the Shut F7 and all of Zenith face masks. Now Oakley also makes the Edge Visor specifically for their Vices helmets. Now Shock has told us that the Zero G fits on Vices as well, we don't actually have any photos of that, so we're just gonna take his word for him and he's never lied to us in the past. So if you're trying to compare Oakley and Shock side by side and what kind of helmet you have, it looks like the Zero G fits on any Zenith helmet, the Shut F7, the Riddell Speedflex, and the Vices line. Whereas Oakley, you would need the Oakley Pro Visor for your Riddell Speedflex, the Oakley Legacy Visor for your Shut F7 or your Zenith, and you'd need the Oakley Edge Shield for your Vices. Okay, now let's talk about a couple other things that Shock does have for their visors that other companies currently don't. Now, from what they've told me, Shock is the only company that puts a anti-fog coating on their colored visors. So if, for example, you pick up the 24K Oakley visor, it's not gonna have the same anti-fog coating as their clear, whereas Shock has the same anti-fog coating on their clear visors, their radiums, and their entire line. Now, it doesn't actually deal with the coating, but another thing related to fog is if you see here, Shock's visors are specifically designed to sit in line with the face mask. So what happens a lot of time is when you are breathing, if that breath is coming out and your visor is sitting a little bit lower, it's basically gonna be catching some of that breath and creating that fog back up. But what Shock did a little bit different is they designed their visor to fit completely flush with the face mask. And that way, any low breath going up there is not gonna produce any fog. So it has a nice high and tight fit, plus the coating makes it really good for fog and colder conditions. As far as colors go for this visor right now, I think they have around 20 different options between their clear, tint, Friday night lights, and all their different iridiums. Now the clear is the cheapest visor they have. It's $45, that's the cheapest clear visor on the market. And some of their colored options get around the 70 to $80 range. Now we are not doing an unboxing of this, but when you do pick up a visor, it comes with a microfiber carrying case that you can use to basically clean off the visor, the visor itself. And then it also comes with their clips here. They come in a black colorway. Uh, that's standard, so it kind of works with you know any team. And the visors themselves do come with a one year warranty. But if you ever reached out to James directly and said, hey, I have an issue with my visor, 
Trust me, he's got no problems. He'll literally just send you a new one. He's a super great guy. Okay, now that we've talked about the Zero G platform as a whole, let's talk about Friday Night Lights. So the reason this visor is called Friday Night Lights is because it's the first visor that'll be fully dark when it is sunny out and transition to a clear visor when it gets dark. This is made for those Friday football games where when you start at 5 p.m., it's still super sunny outside. You need that heavy tint on there to help block your eyes. But as soon as those Friday night lights come on, you don't want that dark film anymore and boom, it transitions to clear. Super cool. So we've talked a lot about how cool this visor can be. Let's see if it actually works. That was my first time actually testing it out and I did not realize how fast this thing transitions. Now the visor itself doesn't transition based off just any other you know, white lights like I have here for filming. It needs to be specifically UV radiation. So when this visor is hit with UV radiation from the sun, that's why it transitions. So yeah, that's pretty much it. These visors are very limited in stock, but they are getting a bunch into their inventory right now. So if you are interested, I would highly recommend picking one up for yourself. All I can say is these things are super cool. I highly recommend shock visors. I cannot say enough good things about them. I love that they're responsible to the channel and I love that they're doing great things for football. Now, if you have any other video ideas or reviews you want us to do, just leave a comment down below and we'll get to all those and we respond to every comment. All right, thanks for watching.